Hi guys. guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Hi Team Solutions, welcome to another video full of blessings and solutions. My name is Judita and I'm a Cameroonian YouTuber. I make videos on faith, fitness, feminism and lifestyle in general. So this is a call out to you guys to check out my channel. My channel name is JD Speaks. If you're drawn to my content, if you like my personality and if my content adds value to you, then please do me well to subscribe and I'll be grateful. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tony Lokwe and this is my husband again. His name is Genika. Adejuma. Adejuma. Um and in this video we are going to be talking to you guys about infidelity. Gang gang. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> what do you say? Gosh. <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about infidelity. I, I actually did a personal video on this after Big Brother. Did you? Yeah, I didn't publish it because oh, I was just ranting okay. in the car actually. Okay. I was talking about Mike on oh, Big Brother. Oh, and was. yeah, and then the good thing about what he did in the house yeah. and I shall spoke about it say. But I think a couple of weeks later I was having a conversation with my elder sister Terry and she said we were having this banter with her friends, how that it takes three to cheat. That's the cheetah, the cheaty, mm. and the Cheated. <laughs> anyway, the the um wow. wait, the wait. so the, the cheat the, the che no the cheat is the cheater. Yes. So who is the person they are cheating with? The coach cheat with. The, che oh, wow. the cheat with. Yeah. Wow. So it's the cheat. Wow. The cheaty and the cheat with. Three of them. Wait. Who is the cheat? Who is the cheat? The cheat is so case in point, the husband who cheats on his wife. Uh -huh. Who is the cheaty? The cheaty is the wife oh, who they are cheating on. Are you sure? Yes, now that's how it is. The recipient is always the E, employee. Oh. Mm. MBA is not for nothing. Mm. Anyway, so <laughs> before this video gets super funny, um, yeah, so that's what we're addressing today. They're like, oh, so the husband is a force for cheating, obviously. Then you know the people that will say his wife has obviously given him a reason to go outside and mm. cheat. And um, then I'm a school of the other school of thought that says that why are even why are single girls even sleeping with married men? Mm. Why would she be? She knows that she's married and things like that. Kama will come back to bite her and things like that. In case three of them's fault. We need to add the fourth category. What's the fourth? That category? video that we watched yesterday. People that are talking about it and encouraging such nonsense behavior. <laughs> <laughs> it's also their fault too yeah. because now some young girls we take that kind of thing and we say well not to throw any shade but how cheap yeah. anyway so um so i was having that banter with my husband i'm like babe what do you think it takes three people to cheat and he's like it takes one to cheat because uh it's very easy the natural response when things like this happen is to find somebody to blame that's what human beings do. You know, if the society, you know, if this person cheated, ah, it's the wife. She was not doing this. She was not doing that. She was not dressing you up know, in lingerie. The, she was not like. Do you get? Mm. Oh, it's the man. It's the, oh, it's the gap that you cheated the with. Girlfriend. She's, you know, to do bully, all those things. Yeah. My own school of thought is it takes one human being to cheat because it takes a decision to cheat. It takes a mm. thought process and the decision. As with other things that people do in life, other bad habits like watching pornography it starts with a thought and mm. if that thought is not nipped in the bud it flowers and blossoms into and the I end fear. product you get so for me let's take it from the very mm. from the root from the which root is the fact that it takes one person to cheat it takes a decision to cheat there are, i was just with someone a couple of years ago right and then he cited an example i, I at first i didn't believe it. i was like da you're joking, but I've watched this person's life. I'm like, okay, this guy might actually be right. He said he was in a funny situation. You know, he was stuck somewhere for some weird reason. And then the, he had to sleep over somewhere. And then where he was sleeping, you know, it's a long story. It's, the lady there that had had the hearts for him, you know, came in stark naked. Like she was literally, and he said he actually acknowledge the fact that she was good looking like she was hot and all of course that. now yeah see you know? for me i feel like sorry to cut you yeah. man, but that you can admire somebody does not equate to like you know how they say 
temptation comes, but once you're able to overcome temptation, then it doesn't lead to sin. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that you being flesh and blood means that you can see, like Some. you said, something. I'm like, oh my god, and it's ring in your head. For a man, you can even have an erection, but what you do with that erection? That's what is important, right? So the lady walks in, and you know, he said that, it, it was like it was like his life stopped because he was in a relationship, engaged relationship, not even dating. Right? They were engaged to about to be married, mm. so it was a very tricky one for him. He said, "Well, the only his life stopped at that point, and it flashed in his mind five years from now. Mm. How am I going to tell mm. this story? Mm. You know." And, and when he said, it was like, I was like, wow." Mm. And he said, even though this guy was good looking, he said he kept telling his brain hmm. like he kept telling his human part that guy you cannot do anything and that was what gave him ginger so for a five he, seconds pleasure you get, he got he said he didn't he was not moved even though he only you know, he was not moved and he 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 talked his way out of it like basically before he could get out of that situation he made he said some things that made her feel stupid mm. like why, why am I doing this? She actually ran out eventually. I went to cover herself. But yeah. well, he said it took a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It took a lot for him to, be able to consciously. Yeah. That split second. That's. Yeah. The, because if anything that happened there, nobody would have known. And he would have moved I on. think that's the evil that the enemy uses to start yep. these things. Sin Let's thrives in, in secret. secrecy. Yes. In the, Let's thrives it. in darkness. Nobody that's why Jesus know. is the light of the world. Calabria. Once he shines the light on it, once you're able to shine light on it, that's all. Yeah. That's all. I agree. I agree. And you know, in in talking about it takes three to change, somebody is listening to this and is like, oh my god, she probably knew that he was engaged. Why was she coming stark naked? Like, if we, let's even take it that that's the genesis of the if, if anything had happened, mm. that would have been the genesis of it. And then they will blame the girl, even if anything had happened, they'll blame the girl and say that it's the girl that came in to seduce him mm. and but things like that. So I, I still feel like. Are you not saying that person should not take any blame at all? Like the girl should not be blamed at all for coming coming up to. Oh, she should be blamed. Life is life is very individualistic. If I bad mm-hmm. when you leave your house in the morning, right? Mm-hmm. For let me give an example. For those who live, for for those who live abroad, for instance, say during winter, you, you get up in the morning, you're going to work. Why do you dress up? Why do you cover yourself? Why do you wear a jacket? You know, why can't you just say, ah, is, God put you on earth? It's not your fault that the elements are there. You know, why do you have to protect yourself from cool, from yeah. those things? Why do you have to wear jacket and boots? Don't wear now. Nah. Mm-hmm. Go out in the cold. You know, so it is your responsibility at the end of the day mm-hmm. to protect your soul, mm-hmm. to protect your salvation, mm-hmm. to protect yourself. Mm-hmm. So um, if you can go ahead and blame anybody, blame hey. the snow, blame the girl. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you are the one that will stand before God and him. give account. Mm-hmm. God is not going to call the girl and say, Oh, yeah, come on this particular scenario. I'm not going to judge this guy, it's the girl I'm going to blame. Go, Mba. Mm-hmm. what did you tell me? We share it, tell me that we share it. I hope that judgment time will come. Your own judgment time will come. Mm-hmm. You will ju- be judged based on your actions, based on what you did. Aye. That's why I believe that you know it is mm. it is one person. Right so I think that's one point there for like anybody nothing a thought to maybe step out on their partner. The fact that at the end of the day, still it is your, your soul. Right? Yeah, sister. it is your soul, and you have the responsibility to protect. You know your yeah as against just five minutes pleasure. So for some, it's even one minute. Or less. <laughs> <laughs> no shade, please. Do. I'm just talking banter always the ones that do, you know. Yeah, yeah. so Olu, that makes Olu, sense. Olu, Olu Moro. I'd rather use it. Yeah, that's good. Olu Moro, yeah. yeah. What does that mean? Like, the person is the goes, one that shines light in your oh, tunnel, is yeah. Olu Moro. Yeah, the person that shows you the way. Oh, sorry, that's yeah. not what I mean. That one is the one that knows the intent of the heart, mm. right? That's the one we are all accountable to, right? First, at the end of the day, right? So, we, we I always tell people that go. Men see human beings walking around. You see a beautiful woman, you see you know a gorgeous girl, whatever, mm. a man, a handsome, tall, dark and handsome. God sees hearts. Calabria. That's all he's seeing. Hey. He's not seeing legs, Victoria he's not seeing too. head, he's not seeing he's just seeing hearts going about. He's seeing intentions going about. That's what God is seeing. So if you if you claim to fear God or to to respect mm. him, you know, I believe that that is one of the things that would eventually guide your thoughts mm-hmm. and i'm not saying these thoughts will not come we're human like you said they will come you might have even fallen before you've made a mistake 
the devil will try. He will tell you, ah. you are. <laughs> one one bitty. DJ done that. Do you understand? Yeah. You can You come at the top, so you can get away with it. You understand? It's your way now. Just it's your way now. Mm -hmm. But you have to always get back up, no matter how deep yeah, or how do you get or how yeah. bad it has become. Maybe you've done it with two hundred people. Mm -hmm. You know, your partner doesn't even know, or maybe your partner even knows that you are having a problem. And See, I've seen is, sorry, love. I've yeah. seen cases of people that will say, "Oh, you know, it's now an unrepentant. It's now an unrepentant Jeez. cheat." Like there's this crazy story that I don't want to say it on camera in case you know mm. whoever is watching. But there are crazy things you see. The fact that I've had conversations with friends, people that are like, oh, if my husband cheats once and I find out, I'm checking out. I cannot Jack stand man. it. Da da da. Another person will be like, oh, if you apologize, this I will stay for the sake of my children. All these things fly about. It's also individualistic. I always just like me personally when I'm faced with things like that, I just always pray for you mm. because I feel like it is. Before I also used to say, ah, going, eh, gone. <laughs> <You get it? laughs> going, gone. But I, and I got to a point where I realized that it's better you just not. Pray for it to happen. Mm, just don't get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Let's, is better than the cure. cure, exactly. So for me, I've now resorted to. They say, um, if your husband cheats, what will you do? I say, will not cheat. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's better. Don't let's now even say what will happen. It's like saying, God forbid, if, if your enemy has cancer, what will you do? Mm. Mm -mm. Ah, we do. There's no cancer. In Je this you get mm. so it's better to even not think about the worst and then start praying your mind for it or mm. even have a reaction already for the worst. But my point is, there are cases where the person is an unrepentant cheat. <sighs> uh, whatever you want to do, you do. If you want to go with your children, fine, and stuff like that. And then in cases. For instance, there's one person that was talking to me and then she spoke about how, you know, she had a baby and then her husband started stepping out on their marriage and then she thought it was her. I'm like, girl, did you see me? Postpartum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, how would anybody in their right mind use that as an excuse? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? That's, like you said, it is your soul. Yeah. This is not an excuse for women to not leave themselves. No, not take themselves but at least... That doesn't now mean that it's your fault even if you're in that address maybe you're struggling with you body know weight. body weight and things like that it does not now mean that it is your fault mm -hmm. whatever happens and do you know that she went to the gym she was snatched hmm. my man did not change my sister the most beautiful woman or women in the world sexiest mm. whatever they still get cheated on hmm. this is not a function of Oh, you're you're snatched. You have to go eat. You know you can do all the styles in the rule book. Oh yeah, the chore master. Sometimes when you clean. when you hear some stories and then you see before and after. When I say before and after, I mean you see the, the person's wife. Babe, and then they are cheating with. Oh you're my like, God, with lapa lapa in the head. So, <laughs> you get so it's that's to prove to you that the enemy is not interested mm. in just okay because bah, it is your soul is after uh, i think that's another thing people don't know just as fornication you know how that to be honest the enemy is not really interested in your pleasure there's mm -hmm. something is after even if like you like your heart is sold out to christ but you fall so you go back and you apologize and things like that you know is it will let you get away with that. It's coming back it's because coming back. there's something is after. It's after your womb. It's after yeah. your generations yeah. to come. It's after something greater. Your yeah. self confidence yeah. and things like that. It wants purpose, to steal your trust. It wants to deflate. Yeah. So I think that's another thing everything. with um, what's it called? This um, infidelity matter. Mm. The enemy is not interested in whether the girl is even final, like you said, or hotter than you. It's more of. I hate marriage. Yeah, I hate yeah. this institution, the institution that that let's this. Debunk it, yes. Let's, let's so let's scatter the whole mm, thing. You know, there's this series that someone on Instagram was yeah. like sharing about how it's always quiet when women are the ones who cheat and stuff like that. Stories, baby. If you see the stories, mm -hmm. I'm like, even in our society, because that's another thing. Our society doesn't really help. In my office, there's always this banter of, ah, she be if my wife cheats on me, she will leave my house now. You know. So I'm like you. You that you, you cheat. If, Will you leave? It's not if you cheat. You that you have cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Based on facts, you that Will you, you have cheated. We only leave your house. Is there? We we'll apologize now. Can you imagine? Very patriarchal. You know, just yesterday there was a conversation where someone was telling me about how there's a particular 
um, city, mm. a tribe that if the woman steps out on the husband, so this one was in a real life case, the woman stepped out on her husband, mm. he got to know, but he he didn't. So normally, if you get to know, you're supposed to either like um, call judgment on her, and she will die. They will literally kill the woman. Yes, call judgment on her, she will die. Or if you want to forgive her, there's a process you even have to go through by okay. like appeasing the gods so he knew he didn't even do any of those things he was silent about it the next time he met with his wife he died wow in that culture yes i had to ask wow. that and when he said this i'm like in this 21st century That's crazy. so it's still crazy the re the repercussions and at the end of the day no matter like the you know cultural um whatever to it is just to show that that's a soul that has been lost because of one person's mistake it's just mm. to show that anytime anybody finds themselves and notice i'm not trying to say men i know mm. that yes it's more common than men cheat but anytime anybody finds themselves in that situation of i'm not seeing this thought as your friend said what well, i don't tell the story five the years from years. now you know for me i think it's more serious to think about it as what like the enemy comes john 10 10 the enemy comes to steal to kill to destroy they what destroy. is it after is after something so it's a battle it's a battle be between your five minutes pleasure and you know whatever and generations to yeah come. life that god has for you literally so yeah but um in closing in closing in closing i just want to ask you hmm. one tiny simple question if a I know that yeah, it doesn't take any other person to cheat than the person who is being cheated. Mm. But um, if somebody, I don't want to say a man to a woman, is being distracted, mm. let's even drive it home. If you, mm. if people are sliding into your DM, mm. <laughs> if you slide into my body, I'm not handling everything. <laughs> if people are sliding into Before your you DM, got, <laughs> you the how? With your church mind mm. and the level of spirituality you've grown into now, mm. how best will you handle it? Or say you even find yourself in a situation where there's one somebody always sending you mm. cleavage picture. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> you got your number picture. random. Yeah, this is mm. a real life thing that happened now. Huh? Mm. You know, how will you handle it? So it's two things. We've already answered one. We mentioned one earlier. The fact that sin thrives in secrecy. The moment I am uncomfortable with sharing that piece of information with my wife, mm. there's already a red flag. Color I should know that I'm already in trouble from that point in time. Just know that it's only the only mind. Only God can save only God can that. The mind is just going to take that seed and water it and let it go until one day mm. it becomes something bad. Another thing is if Transmission happens when there's connection. Hmm. The moment connection is severed, transmission fails, right? So, if communication is there, say, for instance, the message is your DM and you're encouraging the communication, not actively. That's the thing. This ah, is usually done innocent. My son and my sister alone need to do a video on this. We were having this conversation in the village during Christmas. Oh, yeah. Do you know that men sometimes don't even know? What they are entertaining. Sometimes we don't know. Sometimes we actually do, but we just want to see how it will end. How it will We're just okay. playing out. Okay. Yeah. What we have. Law, and the whole one sees it from beginning. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know going from. So sometimes that little. Okay. Let's even see. Uh, oh, LOL. Things like that. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> LOL. Things like that, you know. As opposed to swiping and ending conversation and block. and block or just move on. You get ignore. Things like that. So those are the little, little things. These things are so subtle. They are borderline. I don't want to be a nasty person. Mm. I'm just being nice. You know, they're very borderline. Do you get? But if you've been there, done that, you would know that it's from clap. Dance is to start. Hmm. Thanks. And for me, the way me I'm handling, thank you for sharing with you. But me, my other says that I'm too either hot or cold. You know, and I just you know what is saying. It's just the advice. Sometimes, like you said, you just want to see where it will lead. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you're not severing the connection from the beginning. Just cut it small. You like, just still cut it. But what is, what is back, you know, practically. But me, if I, mom still say, if I smell a rat, 
I will set a trap. Mm. That's all. You don't need to like last year because that's where I know the enemy cannot win. Yeah, so that's it. <laughs> I think we have come to the end of this video. Why are you laughing? <laughs> That's the point. It's so pregnant. My brother. <laughs> we have come to the end of this video. Oh my Thank God. you for watching. Please leave your comments mm. and things about this in the description box below. I'm going to call my sister in law and I'm putting you out on blast right now. Yeah. So now we're going to film about this from a woman's perspective. Absolutely. You know, I was going to say to actually that people, you know, the people that will probably have different opinions. And yeah. we're all here to learn. Really. Yeah. So you can, you know, put your, your opinions in, in the in, comments. Yeah, and then let's 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 learn. Let's all from, learn from one together. Another. You called us the woke generation. The way we handle it is mm. different from the way our parents yeah. also like have handled it and things like that. And yeah. I know that there are a lot of elderly people that also watch this. So yeah. also help us share your experiences or words of knowledge and wisdom in the description box below. Thank you for watching in the comment section below. I always say that. But you guys understand. Get it. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. So thumbnail now. Which thumbnail are we going to use? It takes three to shit. To shit. To shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, my god. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> A pair of jeans, a shirt or two We didn't pack as if we weren't going back